Alrighty guys, we are back. Got a DD15, we're doing a complete overhaul on it. This thing has come out, different block, got everything put together, we had a spun main bearing. Right now what I'm gonna work on, and hopefully I can kind of shoot, shoot a little video. I finally got a new GoPro, hell yeah. Uh, we're gonna install the oil fuel filter module. So I'm gonna have this mounted up here. I do put a little bit of the gasket eliminate, not very much, I just put a little bit, kind of make it sticky. Hopefully fill in some of the blanks that, you know, if there's any little marks or something that'll fill in and catch it. Here is our new oil module. Now this I'm replacing because again, spun main bearing means you're gonna have metal debris kind of throughout the thing. You can try flushing it out. It may work, may not work, that I don't know. Um, I've always just replaced them depending on what's going on. So right now, let's see what I can do here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get used to recording here. This is a uh, kind of new territory territory for me. So let's see here. So again, this is kind of what comes in that big in-frame kit, the overhaul kit. There's a couple different uh, what they call stages or step ups, right? So you got a step up number one, a step up number two. I usually put a little bit of the sticky stuff because this is typically where I see the oil leaks happen here. Everything else is actually pretty solid, but again, that's just kind of what I see there. So you're gonna notice you have a dowel or a pin on the upper corner and on the bottom corner, you've got another one. Okay, those are those you're gonna to need to keep that in mind. Bear with me here, guys, just simply push it down. You're gonna do the same thing here to this corner and that's pretty much it, see? It's stuck there, it's not gonna really go anywhere. You are gonna need your bolts. I think it's gonna be a 16 millimeter or a 17 millimeter. So what I like to do is I like to have my socket ready and I use electric, um, just like a little Milwaukee gun and that's just to kind of chase the threads and get them in there. Um, let's see here, so I've got that. Got a little bit of the uh, thread locker. I use the blue, I don't use very much, just use a little bit on there. And again, we're still gonna to need to torque that down, but again, just trying to get this all together. Um, it's been a minute since I've been able to record, so I'm trying to figure out where on earth I'm going to mount this so I can still get you guys a decent angle and then hopefully be able to record that. So. There you go, that actually is not too bad right there. So I'm gonna start recording. Alrighty guys, sorry, had to hit the little pause button. So this is what I like to use, something like this. It's gonna have a little 16 mil socket. Again, you're just gonna use that so you can chase the bolts down into place, snug them up, and you're still gonna to need to torque everything down. Uh, these are our bolts, there's a couple different ones, so make sure you start lining them up. You really can't miss, I'll be honest with y'all, but uh, so let me get everything set up. I'll come back and start recording and show you guys how I install it. Now, typically you're gonna have all this crap in the way. You're gonna have a radiator here. Uh, you are gonna need to take a bunch of accessories, but again, I'm just gonna simply mount it. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm gonna torque everything down and then we are all done from there. Now, I did use new sensors. This is the time to do it. If you're working on an overhaul, on an in-frame, anything like that, new oil temp sensor, new oil pressure sensor. The module comes with the coolant temp sensor. And there is an also, there's also another, if you can see just off camera, there's another temp sensor right over here. It's an outlet temp sensor, keep in mind. Uh, when you're working on that, I would replace it. I mean, hell, you're already there, guys. So let's get this going. GoPro, stop recording. All righty, guys, we're back. I was prepping all the bolts and getting everything ready. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and stand here next to where the fuel water separator is and get this fuel module, I'm sorry, coolant module, oil module mounted up there. I just gotta get something so I can step up here and get it. Again, keep this ready. That way you can kind of get those secure it. And again, you have a dowel. You have one up on the upper left and you have one on the bottom right. Those are gonna have to line up. Once you get those in there, literally you're just gonna mate it and, and mount it up there and go from there. GoPro, stop recording. Alrighty guys, we're back. So now I have something I can kind of stand up on and kind of get the overhand or the upper hand on this. So get everything out of the way, make your life a lot easier. If you try to have some of the bolts at the ready, you're gonna need it, trust me. Make your life a little bit easier. Have everything kind of on standby. Alrighty, so. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like, guys. Hopefully the camera placement is good. If not, I do apologize. All right. Got one dial. There we go. And that's pretty much it, guys. You're going to go ahead and mount that up. Hold it with one hand. Again, you're going to have your mounting points. Let me loosen up the camera here. You got, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four. You got a couple long bolts and then the rest are gonna be a bunch of little shorties that are gonna go onto the side. So let's see if I can go ahead and, let's 
Sorry guys, there we go. Record and do what I need to do. Again, get one there. All done. At that point, you can kind of take it easy now and breathe because like I said, not very comfortable. You do have a shorty. And if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna go down here in the bottom. There we go. All right, so you kind of get the idea, guys. Stop there, you don't wanna overdo it. Right now the thermostat's not in the way. Sometimes the thermostat kind of goes to the left, kind of at a nine o'clock, eight o'clock position and it will block some of these so the thermostat needs to come out. Unfortunately, when you buy this entire unit, your thermostat does not come included. You do get a new water pump and you get a filter, cooling filter, you get a lot of little goodies to go with it, but no thermostat. So for the low, low price of about 3000 bucks, you get this whole thing here. So keep that in mind. Let's get these other bolts in there. You're gonna have, looks like three or four at the bottom, if I remember correctly. And you're gonna have some on the right. I'm gonna take the camera out so you guys can see what I'm doing. If you guys can see where my hand is over here, we've got one hidden. got a second one over here let's see let's mess around with this a little bit guys fuck it there's no sense in recording a video for you guys if i can't show you guys where what's what and where's what you see right in there see where my fingers are there you go get that bad boy in there okay next uh, got another one down to the bottom right the bottom right corner And I think that's pretty much it guys. So we have everything we need here again all this stuff's out of the way So obviously it makes it a lot easier. It's not always gonna be that way, but you're gonna have one two three Four five six short bolts You're gonna have one two three four long bolts And then you're gonna have one that's just a little bit shorter than the long ones So keep that in mind. Let me go look at the book really quick. See what the torque specs are on it I'm gonna torque it. There's a little sequence on there. Um I'm not gonna lie guys, you don't really have to follow it. Just kind of work your way from the inside out or in an X pattern, that works just as well. Once we get that done, I'm gonna secure this little bit harness down here so it's not just dangling everywhere and get it going. I know there's a bracket here, so since I have the room, I'm gonna put it all back and make it look as original as possible. So. Alrighty guys, so I showed, I already showed you, this is mounted up pretty, pretty straightforward. Here is what the book says, installation of the module. Now you, can up to you guys there's some studs that you can use for the mounting or if you just kind of want to muscle it again you're going to have one dowel pin over here you're going to have one dowel pin over there and that kind of makes it pretty easy to line up i do use the eliminate as i mentioned for me it makes it a hell of a lot easier for that gasket to stay on there um, every now and then it will fall off this is what the torque specs are based on what it says so the initial bolt is seven foot pounds really nobody does that uh, and then you can go between 44 and 47 foot pounds. I'm gonna go 47 foot pounds because I've got a new module. Uh, the bolts are reusable, so that's not a big deal because those are not torqued to yield or stretch or anything like that. So again, 47 foot pounds, and that's pretty much it. I thought there was a sequence on there, but uh, I guess not, guys, so screw it. Let me mount the camera up. Let me show you guys how we do it. Uh, again, not the only way to do it. That's just kind of the way I've done it, so. Let me know what you all think. So again, start in the center. And work your way around. Maybe extension or no extension, up to you. Don't really care. Again, 47 pounds is what we're gonna stick with. Just work center, left to right, whatever works for you guys. You know, it doesn't really, there's no right or wrong. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna use this one up here. All right.
right, so we got all the long bolts. Let's take care of all the shorties. And as I mentioned, you're gonna have a few shorties around the around the way here, guys. So run them down with your fingers. That way you make sure you don't have any threads that are crossed or anything messed up. And you should be ready to go from there. So here we go. I'll fast forward through all this crap so you don't have to see it. And all righty guys we're back sorry had to feed the cats we got apparently have cats now so yeah good, good times anyway so and again whatever guys uh i recommend just run them through your fingers you know get them all the way down till they touch down once you do that, you should be good to go. It should be straightforward. Tighten them down, torque them down, and then you're all done. Uh, I do have a new therm. Actually, no. I do have the original thermostat we're going to use. It wasn't installed that long ago. Uh, however, you do need a new seal. Don't reuse that. Uh, I do not recommend it, but whatever you guys do, that's, that's your business. Yeah, I gotta get another extension, guys. This ain't gonna work. GoPro, stop recording. Sorry guys, this camera, this angle ain't working at all. I gotta get a different style mount or setup. But anyway, you guys get the general idea. So you're gonna have to torque everything down. I believe there's gonna be 11 bolts. Uh, let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. So there you go. You do have 11 bolts. Hopefully this helps you guys out if you're ever doing this. Pretty easy to do, pretty straightforward. Uh, you are gonna have to replace, there is a blue coolant hose that kind of crosses up and over. Uh, yeah, crosses up and over, and it actually connects up here to the coolant uh, manifold module, whatever you want, you want to call it. There's a couple coolant lines here. This is for the, cross, this is for the uh, heater, which supplies the heater line, which goes to the cab itself. And this goes to your surge tank, which has a little hose that just kind of comes up like a hockey stick or letter L, whatever you guys want to call it. And that's pretty much that. So there you go, guys. Pretty simple. New GoPro. A little something I want to show you guys. Uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Again, do not forget to torque it out. And son of a bitch, will you guys believe that? They do not include this plug. What kind of bullshit is that? For $3,000, they can't include that plug. Good thing I've got an extra one. But uh, yeah, make sure you get the plug to go with it or take the old one out. This is where you're going to prime your oil system. So keep that in mind. I'm going to pull this filter out. I'm going to soak it like I usually do. But that's probably going to be another video for another time. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me make sure I did everything right, and that's it. So, guys, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please.